Well, I have some good news and some bad news, but we'll start out with the good news first. For those of you who aren't up to date, last week I made a video debunking QAnon COVID conspiracies. A channel by the name of Destroying the Illusion has over 35,000 views on a video where he's actively telling people to not wear masks and he's also an anti-vaxxer. Within days of putting out the right information, YouTube took down my video and gave my channel a warning which leads to a channel strike. The offense, you may ask? Impersonation. And when I appealed it, the appeal was rejected. So basically, they're saying that they upheld their decision that I am impersonating myself. Now you're probably asking, where's the good news, Chris? Well, recently, I feel like I've been screaming into the void with nobody listening, but the other night, the community came out to help. It was truly a beautiful thing. I was seeing creators that don't necessarily always get along, but at this time, they all came together to help dispute the faulty YouTube system. As many of you know, Markiplier and Most Critical had their videos reversed, but I don't have a combined 30 million subscribers like they do. So the first glimpse of hope came from some ordinary gamers when he retweeted my tweet about what happened. Next, other big creators joined in like Atozy and Destiny. Big accounts on Twitter like Comic Cop also retweeted it. And I also received support from creators like John Swan and Nicholas Diorio. Most notably, Shannon from the channel Creepshow Art made an entire video about the situation. For those of you who don't know about the history between Shannon and I, I truly have a ton of respect for her for speaking up about this issue that affects all of us. And no, I don't just mean that it affects us creators. We're talking about QAnon, a group who is giving dangerous advice amidst a global pandemic. All of us who are practicing social distancing and wearing masks are hoping for this pandemic to end sometime soon. But people like Destroying the Illusion are telling people to do things that can continue to spread the virus. As I write this, the United States has over 6.3 million confirmed cases and we're closing in on 200,000 total deaths. Right now, my son and millions of other kids are having to adapt to doing school from home due to the spread of this potentially fatal virus. So the good news is that the community came together the other night, but what's the bad news? The bad news is that not only is my video still down, but I just found out another creator by the name of Thunderfoot had his video taken down as well. Thunderfoot has almost 1 million subscribers and he also debunks conspiracies. He's a lot smarter than me and his video diving into the science of why these COVID conspiracies are wrong was taken down. Meanwhile, the video from Destroying the Illusion is still up, and that's why we need the help of Dr. Mike. Now, I'll explain why I'm encouraging all of you to use hashtag HelpUsDrMike on Twitter. So I've known about Dr. Mike for quite some time, but I never really watched him. I figured he was just some doctor who also happened to be extremely attractive, and that was the only reason he was so popular. But one day, I watched some of his videos talking about the links between mental and physical health. He explained the importance of doctors being trained to discuss depression, anxiety, and mental illnesses with patients to make sure they're diagnosing the right problems. He also encourages doctors to refer people to mental health professionals, but they first need to recognize the signs and symptoms of mental health issues. Then, to learn more about what Dr. Mike was about, I watched his TED talk that was titled The Epidemic of the I Know All Expert. In the talk, he discusses how even experts need to humble themselves and admit when they don't have all the answers. This is an important message for all of us because we should all continue learning throughout the entirety of our lives. Finally, Dr. Mike sealed the deal for me in June of 2019 when he released his video titled, Three Books That Will Dramatically Improve Your Life. In this video, he recommended two of my now favorite books, The Coddling of the American Mind by Jonathan Haidt and Thinking in Bets by Annie Duke. He was absolutely right too. These books absolutely improved my life. Fast forward to early 2020 when the news of COVID began to spread. As someone who has a generalized anxiety disorder, I needed to make sure I wasn't freaking out too much 
but I also needed to make sure that I was freaking out the right amount to stay safe. I'm an overweight smoker, and even though I'm eight years sober, my former drug addiction led to congestive heart failure. So I'm someone who wouldn't do too well if I got infected. From day one, Dr. Mike has been covering the latest news and updates about COVID, and his motto has been. And I feel like we're approaching these stories with a lot of irrationality, a lot of panic. Remember, my mantra from the beginning of COVID-19 has been stay alert, not anxious. With so many mainstream news outlets sensationalizing headlines to get clicks, Dr. Mike has been my go-to resource for all COVID news and updates. Whenever the World Health Organization or CDC makes updates, I wait to hear what Dr. Mike has to say because sometimes these organizations have given really confusing information. And as many of you know, Donald Trump has been at war with Dr. Fauci throughout this entire pandemic. And Dr. Mike was able to speak to Dr. Fauci a couple months ago to help spread the correct information. Although Dr. Mike has over 6 million subscribers, he's only one person. There are much smaller creators like myself trying to do our part to help debunk misinformation about this virus. Not long ago, remember, people were burning down 5G cell phone towers due to the conspiracy theory that these towers were spreading the virus. Dr. Mike only has the bandwidth to make one or two videos a week, so we need more small creators to be able to debunk this information. The channel Thunderfoot that I mentioned earlier in this video has close to a million subscribers, but his recent video debunking COVID conspiracies was also wrongfully taken down. Now, I wanna make it very clear that I think the topic of free speech is a tricky one, and I don't wanna get into the debate about whether or not QAnon should be able to post their videos, but we're running into a major issue when their videos are allowed to remain up while videos like those from myself and Thunderfoot are taken down. So what can we do as a community? Personally, I wanna give YouTube the benefit of the doubt. As Markiplier discussed in his video, many of us are well aware that YouTube receives so much content that is virtually impossible to manually check each video. But something needs to be done when videos debunking COVID conspiracies are wrongfully taken down. Especially when YouTube manually rejects an appeal for quote unquote impersonation and then responds on Twitter by saying, we review appeals very carefully. If yours is rejected, there's nothing more we can do. Thanks for understanding. And yes, this is actually a reply that Team YouTube gave to me on Twitter. And this is why we need the help of creators like Dr. Mike. This week, we just saw what happened when two creators with a combined 30 million subscribers made some noise. They made so much noise that arguably the biggest independent news channel on YouTube covered it. Thursday, Philip DeFranco covered the story of what happened with Markiplier and Most Critical, and in it, he said this. And what followed is you had Mark and Critical both saying they appreciated the reversal. Critical adding that he hopes we can all have more open dialogue about issues like this in the future. Also uploading another video to YouTube recapping everything that happened, thanking everyone for their support. But still, there were a number of people concerned by this whole ordeal. You know, because while things worked out for these very large creators, you also have people noting that smaller creators don't usually get this type of resolution. They don't have the voice, the ability, the contacts. And I will say, I'm very happy that everything got resolved here, but I understand why this receives so much attention and outrage. And we can all hope that this situation sparked change within YouTube that they're more aware of these issues. But what I'll say as a creator on this platform for 14 years now, I do have doubts. I am hopeful, but I have doubts. And that's because during that time span, the only thing that I've seen consistent for creators is that stuff doesn't get done, it does not change unless people openly complain and complain constantly. Now, I love Philip DeFranco, but we need big creators like himself to use their voices for change. While I think it's a stretch to get Philip DeFranco to cover this story, I think Dr. Mike is the perfect person to help us reach YouTube to resolve this specific issue. And don't forget, Dr. Mike is friends with Philip DeFranco, so maybe we can at least get a retweet. If you're like me, you want this pandemic to end sooner rather than later, and you also want to minimize the climbing death toll here in the United States as well as around the world. With YouTube being one of the largest social media platforms in the world, it's of the utmost importance that we have the ability to debunk the bad information about COVID from channels like Destroying the Illusion and the rest of QAnon. So if you wanna help, please use hashtag HelpUsDrMike on Twitter, and you can tag him at Real 
Real Dr. Mike. Although I'm not a fan of tactics like this under normal circumstances, I believe our ability to debunk COVID conspiracies is a justifiable reason to get the attention of people like Dr. Mike and others. All right, everybody, that's all I got for this video. So don't forget to wear a mask, keep social distancing, and use hashtag help us Dr. Mike. So in Dr. Mike fashion, I'm gonna do a fade to blur and kind of dance to some stock music as we end this video. <laughs>